Hello oh, YouTube, this is William. Okay, back to the Russian uh, knife. Um, I can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to try. I have some apologies to make. People were trying to tell me um, in previous videos that I had the grind wrong. And I knew it wasn't exact, but I didn't know it was that wrong. Okay, um, so I went off half knowledge, if you will. And I just looked at the picture, and I didn't actually read uh, about the knife um, and, and think about it and study about it. I just went to the grinding wheel and took off. That's the way I do most things. I just dive off in there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But these two knives, these two here, they work. Uh, they perform very well, okay? So early this morning, I went back into the shop, and I actually ground one the way the knife is forged okay so whoever and i will apologize to you uh, on the the uh, video whoever was telling me that this is a fuller is absolutely correct i use a hollow to grind it out but it is actually a fuller what this is is this is a hollow grind or a fuller through the middle of the blade now how the blade is sharpened this is a full flat here then it's hollowed out okay so this is, um, let me get a, a um, let me move the camera down on the table and I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about here, okay? Okay, uh, this is just a flat stone. So how you sharpen this knife, this sharp is, knife is sharpened the full flat. This is a true full flat. I don't know where they got chisel at, but it's a full flat from the spine all the way down. Then it's hollowed out through the middle, okay? And how it's sharpened is you lay the knife flat on the stone. You have to have very flat stones. And you sharpen the entire blade. Okay? You don't sharpen the convex. The convex stays the same throughout the whole thing. I mean, you just you clean it off with a piece of leather, strop it or whatever. But you never actually sharpen that. You sharpen it from that side. Okay? That's how the... the original knife is now when I ground this I ground the the, the uh, as I did with the other convexes way up high on the blade can't do that uh, after I got the knife and I started testing it after temper I had to round this convex off even more okay so actually the convex should only come up maybe at that part more like a Scandivex, if you will, or what we know as a Scandivex. And I put my stamp and C on the opposite side because I couldn't put it on this hollow side because it's going to be, well, you just can't stamp that hollow. Okay, because it's got to be polished after heat treat. So anyway, I put, put the, my life, the logo in Model C, which is the third model in this uh, prototype, on the opposite side. And somebody asked me why I put my logo on that side because typically makers put it on this side and the reason I do that is because when I first started everything was marketed through video and so as I was using the knife you could see the logo on that side it's purely a marketing thing okay so anyway a little tidbit of information there so after playing with this I, I think I got the blade to where it would hold a decent edge through some some uh, some testing so let's kind of just do a, a, some light testing on the blade and, and see how how it performs okay so here's a piece of leather let me just clean the edge up a bit so let's just see how it slices through leather just like the other ones see it does have a little bit more pinch than the other ones do okay and if you look at the tip you can see how the tip curves around that hollow it's con it's concaved i guess you will on this side okay my hands are filthy I've, I've been in the shop all day but anyway so what that does is that creates a a circular cut with the knife and you'll see as they're testing the knives they use this these knives to cut frozen fish so as they're slicing the fish it cur curves out a hollow like so so it brings out the the the, uh, the flesh from the frozen fish instead of doing a straight cut it will actually wants to do a curved cut okay 
for this type of grind. Now the other knives I made don't do that. All right. So this knife was designed and it performs to do dipping or curving cuts. And it performs those, those things very, very, very well. All right. It does exactly what it was designed to do. So get in there and dipping out material is just a piece of cake to walk in the park as you can see on this right here it's almost like a gouge and somebody had, had mentioned that in the video that uh, in the comments that one of the previous videos it was like a gouge and they're right it, it's like a gouge okay so as far as feathers I mean, the knife does awesome feathers. Okay, now, the, as far as splitting and batoning and things like that, the knife was not designed to do that. There's really no wedge on this blade that provides a splitting action. It's even thinner here than a full flat would be. So, will it baton? Probably within reason it would baton, and this is a 3 16th blade, so it would baton a little bit. <coughs> now, you saw this knife go through some serious red oak, um, but it's, it's ground different than this knife. This knife is a hollow grind, which is a hollow grind all the way down, and it has a convex on this side. Whereas this is a full flat, so the entire side of the blade is ground toward the middle, then hollowed out. So it's even thinner than this knife. Okay? So, that is the difference. Um, I, I, I think after, after using this knife a little bit, um, it, it performs very nicely. Um, and uh, just to kind of show you how it'll, it'll fillet, I've got some cardboard here. And again, it, it depends on how you want to fillet a fish. If you want to fillet a fish bringing the knife towards you, then you need to have the convex on the other side. Okay, if you're right-handed. Now, if you're left-handed, this is the right side for you if you want to pull the knife towards you doing a fillet. So the convex side is your fillet side of however you want to fillet the fish, and that should be resting against the fish's backbone. So, again, just like the other ones, you have a complete control slicing motion, okay? Just like so, you turn the, the, the fillet over. You take the rest of the fillet off the, the skin, okay? But if you try it the other way, here's another piece of cardboard. If you try it the other way with the hollow down, what happens is it, it just cuts too much. Let's see if I can hold this to where you can see it. I'm gonna pull a knife toward me. See, it, it, just, it just slices through. And you really, you really have no way of controlling that, that cut. So, what happens is on one side you have a very fine, like a chisel. You know they call it a chisel? They're absolutely right. It works just like a wood chisel. So on one side you have very good control cuts, but if you turn the blade over, it is very deep cuts. See how it digs into the wood? You can't do finesse cuts on that side. So however you want to do feathers, you need to have the, the convex side down, however you want to do feathers. Because if you do this side, which is what they call the chisel side, it will just, it will just dig into the wood. It will remove a lot of material. See how it's digging in? It's because it's tilting the blade down and driving it into the wood. Remember uh, the, the previous video on this? So this is the actual true grind of the knife as far as I understand it or how I understand it. Now how this knife was designed or what this knife was designed for, it excels at it. Cutting and slicing off frozen fish, I think they don't do much 
firecraft with a knife they use an axe so um, the edge on this knife is very thin the blade on this knife is is very thin um, how it's ground and how it's proportioned so um, the convex has to be very drastic almost a scandivex in order for the edge to to hold up to any type of, of I'm not going to say abuse because standard or normal use uh, you'd have to have a very very steep and the blade is going to cup I don't know if you can see that or not how the blade is cupped see how the blade's cupped there okay okay I just wanted to give you guys a kind of a quick update on where I was at and send out my apologies to everyone um, I think I kind of got um, a little thick skin because you get so much information when you do videos of, of wrong stuff and people sending their opinions and stuff and really you got to separate what's fact and what's opinion and uh, a lot of times I just dis discard most of what's said and I probably should listen a little bit more but anyway I went back and I, I, I read the comments again I got to thinking about it and actually went and saw some videos on this knife other than just looking at pictures and um, now I think I understand the grind a little bit better and what its intent was um, and I still think for USA made I think this is going to be a better performer for what we do with a knife. Now, what they do with a knife is in Siberia, this is probably a perfect knife for them. Okay, carving out that frozen fish and, and things like that. But I, I think what we want to use a knife for, I think the edge is going to be a little bit fragile for that. And I don't think it's going to be a, a great baton or baton very well. Time will tell. I'm going to put some scales on this knife and I'm going to use it and abuse it for a little while and I'll get back with you. Okay? So, right now we're on model C. C, as in Charlie, Collins. <laughs> uh, that's what we're, we're testing out on this, uh, uh, this Russian design grind, I guess if you will. Because this is full tang, their knife is right tail. Uh, so anyway, that's where we're at. Until the next one, you guys get in the backyard, whittle on a stick. Um, be sure and take a child with you, get the opportunity. Roast a weenie, roast a marshmallow, build a fire. And uh, if you do, be sure and take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.